Hey everybody, just kind of finished up on my bee barn today. So I've had some people ask questions about it, so I'm just going to do a little quick video and show you kind of what I did and how I made it. So I'm going to just do a little walk around with me. Um, the hay mow up here is the ventilation, number 8 screen on it. I've um, just painted it black to make it kind of blend, fade away. Um, this side, I got the, the landing porch with a roof. Um, basically, just kind of used a 2x6, brought it up 4 inches, and then put a 5 degree slope cut to it with the table saw. And then everything kind of matches it. Um, just got 4 inch by 2 inch hinges, heavy duty hinges for it. Um, the little windows down here. I just used little scrap pieces of wood, ripped them down quarter inch by half inch and then framed them out um, to make the windows for it. Uh, the roof is cedar shakes. Um, I just kind of gave them a little dusting of black paint on them. I do expect that to kind of fade away a little bit as the weather hits it. Um, the 4x4s, I notched them out. So they kind of sit in the corner there. I don't know what type of cut that's called. But I'm really happy with how that turned out. It looks really neat. Um, so I'll open it up here. Got a latch here so the wind don't catch it. So I have chains on each side. Um, your typical top cover boards. Um, I do have to cut vents in them yet. Um, and then for this part on the roof, I uh, basically made a little frame holder. So when I'm working with the bees, I can just put a panel up there. Um, on this one, I did use, kind of open this up and show you. I did use 2x12 lumber and uh, made my rabbit cuts on the table saw. Um, my first one that I made I used all plywood and then glued and nailed it all together. And then I was a little happier with uh, the plywood because it's more precise. The 2x12 is a little warped and stuff. So on the outside I used a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood. So this is beefy, this is a lot of wood here for insulation. So I have three quarter inch plywood wrapped all the way around, all the way down to the bottom. And then for my bottom, I do not have it vented. Um, if I do run into issue, it would be very simple to vent it. Um, this one holds 32 solid frames, but it's pretty tight, but I do have a follower board. So I'm only going to run 30 in this one. I'm going to try this one without a queen excluder. Uh, the first one I made did, does have a queen excluder in it. Um, so I just want to see how they perform differently. Um, the top roof is made with half inch to make it a little lighter. This is three quarter inch. Um, drill a little hole here for bee escape. If I have any issues, I'll put some kind of a bee escape protector on there. So how I made the roof cut, whatever width you want to go with, I went up 16 inches and then from the center point of that I came down three inches and went across six and a half inches to make the barn look to it. If it doesn't look right to you, just play with it. Um, oh, another little cool thing I want to show you. So the doors on the ends are functional. They hide the hardware for carrying it around. So just kind of made some rabbit cuts on this and this. So it just kind of slides right over, friction tight. So looks like a little barn door at the end. 
on both sides. So, hope everybody is doing well with the coronavirus, staying healthy. Um, if you comment, make a comment of where you're from. It's kind of interesting to see how many people are in this horizontal hive group. So it's really neat to get the comments and feedback from people. Um, any other questions I can answer? Let me know. Thanks for watching.